video, I'm going to introduce you to automation. Let me walk you through like why are we doing so and the purpose is to ensure that you streamline and automate your business processes in order to improve your productivity. So uh, whenever there's a new lead coming through, we are using Active Campaign to send a welcome email once the lead actually opted in. So besides that, we will create an email automation uh, flow to increase the conversion rate to book a consultation call with us, which is like Equity or Calendly, uh, if let's say you do have with you. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, you need to create all the accounts. So if you don't in this uh Cost content itself, you can see that there will be a link where you can register your active campaign account, log into your Zapier, create a Zapier account, as well as an equity uh, account scheduling. If let's say you want to, if you have Calendly, just use Calendly. And the last thing itself, we I will share with you like the automations uh, URL link so that you can just import our active campaign email sequence directly into your active campaign. So, yep, let me show you how this works. So once you register the account, I need you to go into Zapier, okay, and add like the Facebook lead ad account, uh, create an uh, active campaign account, Google Sheet, and Slack account. So after you registered all this account yourself, uh, one thing that I need to uh, alert and then just to let you know that uh, in order for you to use like lead ad, apps in Zapier, you need to have at least like the first starter paid account. So free account itself, we are not able to trigger whatever leads that's come in through Facebook lead ad. So please make sure that you registered a paid account in Zapier. Just the starter paid account will do. So first, what you need to do, step one is to create a, you know, trigger. So uh, choose app and events. So first of all, just uh, choose Facebook lead ad. Okay, drop down. You can just type Facebook because I already choose lead ad. So uh, I'll just quit it. Okay, so you can see that Facebook lead ad is already chosen. So the trigger event itself is new lead. And then choose your account, which is uh, your Facebook ad account. Set up the trigger as in like which page itself and then which forms that you want. So what I'll suggest you to do is by choose the default one. So this is your Facebook page. And then the form itself, choose default, or you if you have specific uh, lead form, just choose, uh, choose it. So this is a demo. So if you notice that we are having trouble loading phone data because this form has been removed, but for your information, you can just choose like the default form over here. Then close it and then move on to the next one, which is like create and update. So I'll just close this one. So make sure that the apps itself, you are choosing active campaign and then, okay, app, you choose active campaign and then action events chose uh, create or update contact, contact. Close this one, yep. And then the next things itself, of course, oh no. I don't want to see this. This is annoying. And then uh, move on to the next one, uh, which is active campaign. Choose your account, set up an action. Close error. Set up an actions. Uh, pick a list in your active campaign. Uh, we will use like master contact list or whatever list that you created in Active Campaign. I'll show you how to do that later on. And then insert your email addresses. So click on here and then based on new lead, Facebook lead ad, click on email, put it here. So put on the full name, okay, phone number, and then text itself. Uh, I'll show you what uh, do you need to put in. It's based on the text that you created in Active Campaign. So remember Facebook lead ad, and then close and add another steps itself, which is add contact to automations in Active Campaign. So if let's say you have triggered that in Active Campaign, you can actually ignore this step. If not, you can actually do this. So I 
go, trigger it into like the leave test automated and then contact type will be email and subscribe email will be here okay so email we will pick up from the facebook lead ad steps so we'll close that and then move on to the next step which is step four uh we will add this into a google sheet so this is where that we will capture uh the leads that will go into if let's say you do not have a crm system so we will strongly advise you to use google spreadsheet just to keep track uh, all the leads actually come true and choose an app of course app will be google sheet action events will be create spreadsheet role move on to the next one which is your google account google sheet account how you set it up is based on the sheet that you've chosen and then which working sheet which is the tab and from there itself they will pull up the uh, row the first row row a uh, what are the columns that you have for the information input so normally what we'll do in a google sheet we will be having like name contacts and email and test the action of course you can just do a test action and then confirm like you can test and review and continue and the last step itself will be send a message to a slack channel so this is to notify you that you have a new list comes through uh, you can download slack in your mobile so whenever there's a new list come in you will get notified in your mobile app you can actually straight away call your new leads so when it's swarm call them within you know next minutes next five minutes when a new lead opted in so that will be good so choose app and event so slack so what i'll do is like send to a channel message you can actually send it to private so choose account same thing it will be your Slack account. And then from here itself, uh, the channel itself can be general. So if you have multiple channels in your Slack account, you can actually have a lead channel in your Slack account so that you know whenever there's a lead comes through, it will send to that particular channel. Then the message text itself, basically we can type so like new lead, Facebook lead, and then uh you can just type i just show you new facebook lead just typed and then this is what i put in like full name and then capture it from facebook step one mobile from the step one email from step one so what does it mean if let's say you want to click on here left click you can see insert data so you can based on step one from here left click then it will actually insert the email information over here. So the rest itself just remain as it is. You do not need to change anything and click continue. And you can click skip test. Or you can do a test if let's say you want to. Once this is done, turn on the zap. Make sure that this is being turned on. okay so that's a trouble because the web form like the lead form has been removed but you are able to turn that on for the information so this is on let's see okay so i'll move to active campaign which is our email automation once you register the account and then you come to active campaign uh, first thing like i said you need to manage your text so which means that uh remember on this step active campaign set up an action so remember the text that you need to input over here so this is based on what you created in contacts active campaign contacts under manage text itself these are the texts that you created so from here it's called facebook lead ad so you need to have first of all you need to create your facebook lead ad over here by adding this tag like facebook lead ad and then click on 
add tags. So we already created that. That's why I, uh, I wouldn't be actually adding this. So what you need to do is create this tag and then add tags. Okay. And why do we create a tag? Tag is to trigger the email sequence. Okay. So I'll actually move on to the list first. Remember like which list that you would want to uh, add them into whenever there's a new list comes to. Okay, here you go. So that will manage leads. Can you see a list? And then click on man manage list. And then you can add a list with the leads name. Okay, and then you will show up here where over here you can pick on whether it's a master contact list or whatever list that you will want to input them into. So it will be added into here. So tags has been covered, list has been created. Okay, if let's say you didn't create a list, it will always go to the master list uh, showing up over here, master contact list. So this is what you need to do. And the last thing that I want to uh, <clears throat> cover, it will be the automation. So click on automation. Okay. So that will be a URL uh, we call like step 2.2 uh, active campaign import automations URL. So comes to automation itself, you need to cl uh, click on this create an automation. Use the URL that we provided. Okay, sorry for the internet connection. Something wrong with it. Okay, yep. So a window will pop up. So click on import and automation. Click on this. And then remember the URL that I uh, mentioned. So automation URL. So just paste it here and click import. So once you click import, okay, so this is sample. Okay, so this is what you will be getting from us because I already have this sample. This is the URL that I share with you. Okay, so this is how it looks like for the email sequence automations where we will send like e a welcome email for all the new list comes through and uh, the sequence itself. So remember the tag that we created, Facebook lead ad. So that's the trigger that you need to change into the one that you created. So left click. So the tag itself based on whatever you have created over here. So you can just remove by typing, let's say for example, okay, it will show up all the text that you created and click save start. So I wouldn't be do, uh, doing it. So I'll just close. So change to the tag and then the emails, I wouldn't be going into every single one of them, but you need to because you need to change the information inside the email copy itself. So I'll show you the first one. So send an email. Okay, click on this. Click edit. Okay, so this is the email template that you need to do adjustment. So, okay, finish loading. 
whatever highlighted in red, please change to your IO challenge offer. Let's say you are doing 21 days, 28 days offer. Please replace this one. So I am, let's say Bernice. So I am Bernice. Okay. And then your gym name, like RBT, for example, I am Bernice, RBT coach. That's me in the picture. Replace the photo over here, down here. Over here, okay, to make it more personalized, people get to know you. And then who will give you a call? Let's say Bernice will give you a call or your salesperson will give you a call. Change this one. Look at the information. If you will, if you see that it's like achieved in 2020, so you need to change that. It should be like 2021, okay? Uh, and we book you in a health or fitness audit kick. Let's say for what IO challenge that you have. Let's say it's 21 days, 28 days. Uh, okay, uh, six week challenge. So you can just change it to the offer that you uh you promoted. Replace this name and then look through this content. You feel free to just adjust accordingly. And then from here, this is where that uh we get you to create like your calendly or uh equity scheduling uh, URL. What you need to do like book here, click on this one. Okay. And then go to right click. Okay, uh, book here. So the link itself. So URL, please make sure that that's your URL for your booking. Replace this one and click OK. And then the next one will be replacing uh, your own uh, photo. And you can actually leave this as it is. If not, you can change uh, this content or just remove it. But we will advise you just to leave it as it is. And then click on this button like see available consult time. Left click. You can see this button link. Please make sure that you change to the Calendly or Equity or whatever scheduling uh, URL that you have. Replace this link. Change your gene name and click Save. So you are all done from here. And after that, click Next. That's where that you change your email subject title. Congratulations, you are in. Okay, uh, from who? This is like from Bernice. Reply to who? So, uh, this is a message name. You can just reply. Uh, just to rename this one. This is the message that you will see in your automation. Uh, only by yourself. No one will see it. Change the address. Of course, it will be by default. Uh, the address that you registered with Active Campaign, uh, and you can send a, a test email to yourself. Once this is done, and then click finish. So same process go to each email campaign. So this is the first one that we uh, just now uh, uh, I go through with you. I walked you through. So this is like a notification to yourself after this email has been sent, which is the welcome email has been sent to the lead. And then you can just change it here, change to yourself. SMS features uh, will only be available when you actually upgrade into like the uh, 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 more you know, uh, advanced plan. So we actually put it here just in case one day you will want to upgrade, then an SMS can be actually sent out to yourself or to your leads. So uh, if let's say you do not have that features like SMS features, just leave it as it is, it wouldn't be triggered, it will just stay here. So wait for one day, if let's say someone actually book in a call with you, uh, then it will go into this email sequence. Okay, this is all the emails that you need to go in uh, one by one to edit it uh, to your business. 
So yes, if let's say someone actually click on the link, it will send this email. If no, this is all the emails that they will be getting one day after next. So in if you do have any uh you know if you do have any question, okay, uh please feel free to ask us. But this is what you need to do uh for uh, start. Thank you.